How's it going everybody? CJ here, back with another video. Remember, if you like my content, subscribe to the channel, check me out on Patreon if you really, if you really want to support the channel, uh, like these videos, comment the videos, and yeah, you're in for a treat today. So, I'm doing an unboxing today, but something pretty different than usual. We've got this collection that I purchased on eBay. So, to preface this, this was a pretty expensive collection. I saw a lot of high value stuff in here. This is going to be a lot of money, like multiple thousands of dollars is what I'm assuming is inside of this box. This is an expensive collection and there's obviously more than just cards in here. This is going to be pretty cool to open and I'm very excited to see what exactly we got in here. But hopefully it's even better than I expect. I expect it to be a lot of good stuff in here. So we're going to hop into this. All right, instead of having to deal with the shipping label, because I couldn't find a black Sharpie, I was able to just remove the shipping label, so don't have to deal with that. And we're just going to hop into this. So this is a crazy collection from what I've been able to gather. And I'm really, really excited to get this thing open. The taping is a little oddly done, and the box seems to be a little beat up, so I'm really just hoping that it's all in good condition here all right we got that open we got a couple deck box deck we got multiple deck boxes in here satin towers it looks like all right so we're just gonna go through this one deck box at a time that's what we're gonna do here we'll start off with the first deck box and let's just see what down below here. All right, uh, we got some coins. Um, I don't know what's on these coins. Uh, 2015, one, one peso. Okay, we got a few coins. If you can, can, if you know the currency here, let me know. It's not a peso, so. Oh, it looks like, it looks like it might be from the Philippines, Republic of Philippines, maybe. I think this might be Philippine money. <laughs> we got some dice in here. Kaladesh. Dark Ascension. That's cool. One of the gods. I'm not showing it underneath here. We got a Dark Ascension die in here. That's kind of cool. Ixalan. Um, Theros. Original. Cool. All right. So we got some dice. And inside this deck box. Deck box number one. I'm going to move this a little bit further off. Ugh. Okay, okay, we're starting off real hot here. All right, I'm gonna scan cards that I know are valuable right away. Um, yeah, we're starting off hot. So we got a Yavi Maya Hollow, right, right off the bat, along with a Talarian Academy, so. Oh, it's because it's in the sleeve. It might not scan. Hold on. Oh, that worked. Yavi Maya Hollow. So that's a hit right there. So they're an Academy, an Academy Rector, too. There's the Academy Rector. Uh, foil Judge Promo Riku of Two Reflections. Oh, that is not the World Championship, for, World Championship deck version. Okay, we got we got hits. Um, so yeah, Riku of Two Reflections, the Judge promo foil. Uh, if that'll scan, that would be really really nice. Doesn't seem to want to scan. Maybe if I just take it out of the sleeve. Sorry about this. We got some minor hiccups already. All right, I'll just add that in manually after. I'll put that in the manually add good stuff to check pile. All right, what else we got here? All right, we got a Dark Ritual from Deckmaster series. Interesting. Sky Shroud Claim, Days and Doing. Um, that, I, don't, I don't know if that's actually money or not. Here, I'm just going to like quickly pop these in because the Deck Masters one is kind of cool. It's not going to scan. All right, Days and Doing. 
Oh my god. I gotta fix this. So it scans. Why is it not scanning? I am so sorry, guys. I was really hoping that I'd be able to do a scan while I open this thing up, but it's looking like it might not be able to happen that way. Oh, there we go. That's what I needed. Just some extra light over here. So this is still a hit. That's over three bucks. Let's see. Will this scan? No. Okay. <laughs> We're at the Riku now. <laughs> Sorry about this, guys. No. But this is, I know, is a hit. So I'll put the hits up here. And the one I need to check there. Okay. Sky Shard Claim. Tempt with Vengeance. Serum Powder. I don't think that's worth anything anymore. That used to be a money card. Uh, yeah, it's 13 cents. A uh, path of ancestry, a foil, Arlen cord, path of ancestry, something, right? Yeah, it's five bucks. Oh, a uh, foil, Arlen cord, Arlen embraced by the moon. Okay, that's something I'm gonna have to put in myself. I think the foils are gonna be difficult. Nickel bolas, God Pharaoh. No, that's a few dollars. We got Wonderwine Profits here. Uh, Will Kenrith. Nahiri was just printed inside of a Commander deck, so that's probably not worth anything anymore. Devoted Druid Foil. Uh, this is the regular one is a dollar. How much is the foil of it? Oh, that's not the right button. Uh, normal foil. Oh. Wrong button. Uh, there we go. Uh, that's three bucks. Okay. Uh, we got Cranko in here. That's cool. I'm just going to do foils after because that's too much work. Foil cast through time. This is really seems a little beat up though. I'll check the foils after. Metallic Mimic. That's a hit. I'm going to put anything that's a hit underneath so we can get a grand total. Temp of Vengeance. Nahiri. Arixmathies. That's something, right? I think that's a couple dollars now. Come on. Scan. Ooh. Hold on. Oh, I really wish that we could get these technical difficulties out of the way. Oh, there we go. Oh, wow. Arixmathies is 10 bucks now? That's crazy. Let's get, lower this a bit. That's 10 bucks? Damn. All right, we got a Fist of Suns in here. Don't think that's much, but here. We got a Sigarda Host of Herons. That's like $4, oh wow. A Spell Queller. This is a nice hit. Uh, Michael Synth Golem. Affinity, that's a cool card. I haven't seen that before, that's sweet. We got a Desert from Arabian, this is my first I think Arabian Nights card, actually. I don't know if I have any other actual Arabian Nights cards. I thought I can think of. That's pretty cool. It's not the best of condition, but it's a cool card. It's in a sleeve, though. So maybe that means it's worth money. But it won't scan when it's in the sleeve. Oh, it won't scan anyways. Oh, there we go. Oh, all right. I found I found the right spot to keep that light. Uh, Swift Foot Boots. That's always something. Uh, Sarah Ascendant. That's a nice card. Nice little hit. Yeah. So this is a this has got a lot of money in this. We got a Mayel. I don't know if Mayel is actually worth anything, but it's cool. Gifts Ungiven. Band and Commander. Unfortunate. I think it's still money though. Nope, it's not. Uh, Devastation Tide. We got Jinka Taxis. That can go in my Commander Cube. So, a lot of these cards I don't have much use for and will be reselling to gain a profit from this whole collection purchase. And those that I do, 
like if you happen to purchase them, I'm going to be mostly selling them on TCG Player. So if you see CJ's card shop on TCG Player, that's me. If you happen to buy one of these cards from me off there and you want me to sign it, just let me know and I'd be happy to. Uh, Cataxium Probe, is that anything? Nope. But, but yeah, so if you want any signed cards that are going to be any of these, let me know and I'll see what I can do. If you purchase it from me, you'll be able to contact me. Uh, Baral, Chief of Compliance, okay. There's a lot of cool cards in here. Like, Vidalcan Shackles, wow. I don't, like, a lot of cards I don't actually have a copy of. These are foils, foil desertion. I'm just going to kind of skip over the foils. We got a skull clamp. Another one. Uh, foil snap. That's really cool. That's got to be something. It looks interesting. The text on it looks interesting. Is this thing a real card? Looks... I'll have to do a check later. Can't tell for certain. But I don't know why you'd fake a snap. Uh, Ward of Bones. That's ten bucks now. Holy God! Okay, a uh, Junk Diver, original Junk Diver. Uh, ooh, I gotta keep make sure. Right, I'm gonna lower this so I have a better view. There we go. This is better. This is way better. We got a remand. Savor the moment. A great card inside of uh, Planeswalker base decks. Gitrog Monster. That's sick. This the nice frog dude. Oh, and we got some shocks in here. Oh, that goes there. Got a steam vents. Ooh, Grove of the Burn Willows. There's some really sweet stuff in this. That's a foil hazard. That can go right over here. Uh, this ugh, stupid sleeves. It's getting a whole bunch of penny sleeves. Grove of the Burn Willows. Grove of the, Come on. There we go. Uh, Enchanted Evening. I don't think this is worth anything anymore because of the mystery boosters, but maybe. We got a Dak Faden. Dark Steel Forge. That's money. Dak is money too. Yeah, 18 bucks. Holy goodness. Heroic Intervention. That's another like $20 bill right there. Uh, that should be there. Uh, Kodama's Reach. Oh. Just not in the most comfortable position. It's kind of difficult just holding all the stuff up. Kodama's Reach, a Season Pyromancer, nice card from you from uh, Modern Horizons. Couple of season, two Season Pyromancers. Okay, just gonna like pop it in there and then pop it in there again. Uh, Kiki Jiki, that's hot. Uh, it's not the foil. Okay. Uh, we got Soul Ring. That's always money. Soul Ring is always a good card to have. Especially when you have like 40 commander decks like me. And are always looking to build more. Uh, it refuses to scan the Soul Oh, there we go. Sahili Rai. Pass in Flames. I don't think I actually have one of these in the cube yet. So that's going to be a good addition to the cube. There we go. That's more comfortable. Uh, temporal Aperture. Sorry about the camera shaking. Camera shaking because where I'm scanning the cards is technically where the camera is sitting or attached to. A foreign platinum imper platinum angel. That's kind of a cool card. Sidar Konda, Silas Ren. We got some partners in here. Those have been climbing in price. Oh yeah, these are foil. These are going over here. Fairy artisan. Voice of Resurgence, nice. Oh, that's Will Kenrith. Is it? Did it already open? Did they already pull a Will Kenrith in this? Is that the second Will? Pretty sure it's the second Will. I don't think I have a other the sister. I don't think I pulled one of her. Ooh, Neheb. I love Arcane Artisan. That's a great card. Not worth anything though. <laughs> Pier, Magus of the Moon. That's money now. Uh, we got Grenzo here. Iroas got a victory. Ooh, Vexing Shusher. This card just recently popped off. I don't know if it's still like super high, but that was money. Yeah, it's still like 20 bucks almost. Wow. Lyra. Sarkin the Fireblood. I loved this card when this was standard legal. This was a fun card to use. 
Uh, Miri, that's Foil, Omnath. Uh, is this an Eldrazi conscription? I actually don't own a copy. Until now. But it's foreign. So I'm not positive if it is. And if it is, I cannot tell you what it does. It is, but I don't know what exactly it does. It gives like Annihilator or something. Plus five, plus five maybe? Oh, I am above. Okay, Conjurer's Closet. This is awesome. This is wild. Fast Bond, Eladomri's Call, that's cool. Arc Light Phoenix. That used to be big monies. I don't know if it still is, but we're about to find out. Uh, we got Fiery Islet in here. Ooh, Blood Crypt. Oh, come on, Fiery Islet. Get out of your stupid sleeve. There we go. Okay. If it's above 20 bucks, I'll put it back in its sleeve. <laughs> Blood Crypt. Ooh, Torture Defiance. This is just getting reprinted inside of the um, Chandra Spellbook. It is a good card. Oh, we got Nicol Bolas, the Ravager. This is this is going to Commander Cube for sure, because I do not have that in there yet. God, I hate that all of these are sleeved. Please just scan. Oh, it worked. Oh, that's like 20 bucks. Doretti, Ingenious Iconoclast. Uh, we got a Brea in here. Ooh. Captain Sisse is one of my favorite... Oh, this is a foil, so it's not going to scan right now. Captain Sisse is one of my favorite cards. I love Captain Sisse. Love her. Come on, scan. There we go. Okay. Privileged position. Ooh, Maelstrom Wanderer. That's another one that just shot up in price. Ashiok, Nightmare Weaver. Wow, $21. Five bucks there. Okay. So, wow, we're already at over 600 bucks and we're halfway done with the first box. Angrath, that's not worth much. Chromatic Lantern's always money. That's a good commander card right there. Always looking for those commander cards. I don't think this warrants anything. Kindred Summons is an underrated card. This card's very, very powerful. Big fan of that card. I have no idea what this is. This is not this is not worth anything. Uh, this is not worth anything either. Volcanic Visions, that's nothing. Bomat, nope. Ramen up Hydra. Okay, these are all bad cards here. Yeah, I don't think any of these are actual money cards, so I think we have a good quick spot here. Oh, Angelic Course used to be some money, but I don't think it is anymore. Play the game. Okay, yeah, so this looks like it's a lot of bulk in this section. Hopefully, this is the rest of it's not just bulk. Yeah, I thought that was upside down. Hopefully the rest of this is not just bulk. Don't know if that's worth anything, but probably not. Cockroach Galleon is a treasure map? Oh, it is! Okay, I will check that after, but that's like the buy a box, buy a box topper version, which is actually pretty good money, I think. Those are very hard to find. All right, and the last of this deck, last of this box. We got some wastes in here. How much are these wastes? Probably like a buck a piece. Twenty cents. Never mind. Uh, a lot of wastes. That's nice. I always use wastes. Slinging lieutenant. All right, all right. Um, interesting card there. Never seen that before. Munitions expert. Morning tide. Remove all cards in all graveyards from the game. That's in a sleeve for some reason. Why is that in the sleeve? Ancient Spring. What is this? Okay, that's nothing. Got an emblem. Ooh. Uh, foil from Kamigawa. Foil rare from Kamigawa. You may play it anytime you can cast an instant. Tapped creatures you control may block as though they were untapped. That's kind of a cool card. I'll put that in this scannable. Uh, Prowler's Helm is probably something good. Foil. Um, Stormcrow. Oh my goodness, we got the best card in Magic! Stormcrow! We gotta, we gotta scan that one. <whistles> a Knight's Alliance's Stormcrow, that's a PSA 10, right? I see Manipulator from the Dual Decks, that's kind of a cool card. Ooh, Merit Lage Token. Is the Icy Manipulator worth anything? I don't think so. Probably not, I'm just gonna say it's not. There's... Oh, it's just, it's just sleeved, it's just a sleeved one. 
Fiery Temper promo. I don't know if that's anything, but we'll throw them in there. Ghostly Prison, that's always something. Uh, Kess, that's foil. Sacred Foundry, ooh, that's a day. Um, Judge Promo Progenitus. Gotta throw that there. Soul Scar Mage, one, two, three, Soul Scar, Ma Soul Scar Mages. They still big and pioneer? They gotta be big enough. Three down. Alright, uh, Sulfur Springs from the Duel I love this art because it's just got the little devil dude. He's cool. Uh, we got Brass's Bounty. Ooh, Sylvan Carry added. Promo. That's gotta be something, right? That's gotta be something. That's like 10 bucks. That's solid. Uh, it scanned that one. That was weird. It won't scan the other foils. I'm just gonna stick these over here in the need to scan. Alright, so that's the end of box one. Um, I'm going to leave the good cards out, I guess, and I'll put the bulk back in. Oh, I put it in the wrong way, didn't I? Well, eh, doesn't matter. All right, so that ends box one. Now let's pull out box number two. This, I like this deck box a lot. All right, let's see. All right, we got a Gideon thingy and an actual... 20-sided die and some six-sided dice. It's got something on it. I gotta clean this up, it feels like. It's got some texture to it. Okay, we got we got what looks like it might have been part of a deck in here. Uh maybe definitely. That oh, we got a lot of mill stuff right in the top here. Uh, we got glimpse the unthinkable. That's always money. Yup. Uh, Archive Trap, a Foreign Hedron Crab. Watery Grave. Okay, so it looks like they had a, uh, a, a what's it called? Um, Demure Mill deck here. Come on, just scan the trap. There we go. A Promo Gadwick. That looks, the foil stamp looks kind of funky, but I don't think anything's wrong with it. Uh, another Hedron Crab, that's nothing. Another Archive Trap, a Mission Briefing. I do love this card, but it's not worth anything. Waterlog Grove. Alright, looks like we're done with that deck. Scheming Symmetry. Another pre-release, or another Foil Gadwick. Come on, just scan. Okay, I got to get out of sleep. We got Fatal Push in here, too. I'm not gonna think I'll sleep. Come on, just just do the thing. Just do the thing. Okay, it's not it's not worth enough. Uh fatal push. Yeah. Another watery grave. Okay. Oh, we may be back in this deck? This is interesting. There's just a lot of Demir cards in here. Collective oh, that's supposed to be there. Collective brutality. That's a sweet card. Uh Plague Engineer, another really, really cool modern horizons card. God, I hate this camera. I just want to be able to keep up on the totals. So please, let's let me do that. Come on. Ooh, Leyland of the Void. All right, so here's the Plague Engineer. That's not worth anything. I just thought that was money. Leyland of the Void. Oh, thoughts. Okay. Okay. So these red sleeves seem to be pretty good. And it looks like we got a lot of red sleeves in this pile. Come on, scan. Okay. We got an M20 Leyland of the Void right here. We've got Thoughtseize from Theros. Oh, I scanned that twice on accident, but that's fine. Uh, Foil Dead of Winter. Ensnaring Bridge from 7th edition. Two Ensnaring Bridges from 7th edition. Oh. Yeah, that's that's money right there. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's, that is money. Darksteel Citadel. We got a Full Art Mountain. Flame of Killed. Okay, and we're on to bulk stuff. Oh, that was annoying. Um, I don't know what the hell this card is. That's weird. Brawl's Expertise. Salvage Titan? I have never seen this card. Interesting. Okay. Sidri, that's kind of cool. Ooh, that's a... Damage Cataxian Probe. 
Alright, uh, this looks like it's just bulk, draft bulk right here. Uh, another sweet full art. Okay. Okay. Interesting. This is a really, really interesting lot. There's a lot going on here. Some slivers. Um, well, wild growth is always a nice card to have. Ooh, land tax. Miss Miracle Orb. Okay, we're on to some good cards again. Land tax is like 34 bucks. Oh my god. Miss Miracle Orb. Come on, scan the Ms. Miracle Orb. Yeah. Oh, I... I was not even paying attention. <laughs> we have a Scalding Tarn, too. I was not even paying attention. Oh, and a Foil Ancient Tomb? Oh my god, oh my... Okay, how much is Scalding Tarn at now? $70. Oh my god. Foil Ancient Tomb. We got the, all the Serum Vision arts. That's sweet. A Black Blade Reforged. Buried Ruin. Eldrazi Temple. Eldrazi Temple is worth a few dollars, right? Oh, that's a Morning Tide Idyllic Tutor. <laughs> this is still worth something, hopefully. Come on. What do we have after this? Uh, open the vault. That's not in. Just scan for me. Come on. Okay, I'm gonna take it out of the sleeve. It looks like we got. It looks like we might be back in a little bit of bulk, just because open the vault is literally nothing. Oh, it's only eight bucks now. Ooh, foil SRAM. Winds of Abandon. I love that card, but it's not worth too much yet. Supreme Verdict. That's always good. Come on. Come on. <laughs> All right, then we have some more bulk. I, ooh. I think Frank Sanity is actually worth something, though. I'm pretty sure Frank Sanity is worth some amount of money. I don't know if traumatizes, but it might be. Oh, wow. Frank Sanity is up to $3. I did not realize that. All right, let's try traumatize. Traumatize is cool. All right, that's only a buck. Another. Okay, we got two more mesmeric orbs. I'm just gonna scan this thing twice. Hopefully, you guys can't hear my dogs barking upstairs. Oh my god, scan, please. There we go. And. Oh, why does this thing have to be so annoying? Okay. Bam, bam. Okay, we got thing in the ice. This is going to be a long opening. I'm sorry, guys. All right, we got... F how many thing in the ice? It's four thing in... Oh, my God. And then engineered explosives. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Oh, and a... F oh, my God, guys. Oh, my God. I... This this is nuts. There's There's just so much value in this. So place it at the fairy time ravelers. Little three fairy. Got four of you. If you'll scan. There we go. Oh, I gotta do this four times. There's one spot that works really well. <laughs> okay. Wow. Um Kaya's Guile's not worth much. Crypt Incrusion. I don't think that's worth anything. Elder Spell, Dovin's Veto. Ooh, Meddling Mage. The original Meddling Mage. This is something. Sheldock Isle? I don't think Sheldock Isle's worth much, maybe? Maybe it is, and I'm just big dumb. Oh, wow, it is. It's worth, like, five bucks. And we have a full playset. <laughs> wow. Wow. Okay, there we go. Uh, Unmoored Egos. Uh, sweet Anime Ashiok. Regular Ashiok. Um, uh, <laughs> Stained Glass Ashiok. Oh, that's Foil. That's not going to scan right now. Uh, foil Vantress Gargoyle thing in, uh, on Thin Eyes. Uh, another 
two ensnaring bridges. Okay. I mean, I'm I'm fine with that. I'm totally okay with more ensnaring bridges. If any of you need an ensnaring bridge, I'll be listing them. It'll probably be the cheapest copy on TCG Player. Oh my god, please just scan the stupid bridge. I want my bridge scanned. I want to know how much money I have. I am sorry guys, I really wish that there's an easier way to scan. TCG Player just, app is just not working for me right now. Oh my god, why is it not working at all though? What just happened to this thing? Did it just like poop on me? There we go. All right, we got Hedron Crab. We got a silent clearing and another glimpse the unthinkable. Oh, and a surgical extraction. That's sweet. Um, Ar Ooh, a foil Arkham's Astrolabe. That's really sweet. We'll get, well, scan this in later, but that's got to be like 10 bucks. I just scan. Visions from Beyond is nothing. Just scan for me. Goodness gracious. Goodness. Golly gee, just scan. Oh, it looks like we've got another glimpse of the unthinkable in there, too. Oh, you just highlighted it. Come on. There we go. Okay. Wow. Surgical extraction dropped in price hard. Okay. We have force negation. That's totally fine. Totally okay with that card. Yeah. That, that nice $40 bill. Flooded strand. All right. We're getting some more fetches in here. Fiddle scan. I, I, I wish they weren't in penny sleeves, but like, I'm so happy that they work. It helps the condition stay good. Mission briefing, Inquisition. Oh my goodness, a polluted delta and another glimpse. Oh my god. Oh my wow, we're already over a thousand dollars. Okay. Watery grave. A foil scheming symmetry, it's stamped. Okay, that's probably worth a little bit. I'll scan that one. I hate that he's got a mixture of sleeves in here. Like, it's both side loaders and top loaders. Okay. So, there goes box number two. That's the end of box two. At this point, we're at 1231. Wow. Um, box number three, here we come. This will make us halfway there. We got just some six-sided dice and a M14? M14 die. Oh, that's sweet. <laughs> that's so cool. We have an altered in the hill spell bomb. That's so cool. Oh, wow. That's... This is going in my personal thing. I don't know. I don't know. That's going somewhere, though. That's sweet. That's really cool. But we also have a chrome mox here, which is like big time monies at this point. Yeah, that's... Well, nope. There's not two of them, unfortunately. That's eight, seventy dollars right there. Bam. Okay. Uh, some exignant command. Oh. Okay, something just happened. I don't know what it was. Command tower. All right. Nope, that's not worth anything anymore. Waste not. Waste not was recent recently featured in a video on my channel, uh, or it will be featured. I don't know. It depends on which one I can get done first, this or the other one. But yeah. All right, nurturing peatland. Wow. Come on, please just let me scan it with the sleeves on. If I just like do it like that, it'll scan better. Okay. Quailing Oracle, Land of War Elves, Birds of Paradise. That's always nice to have. A Lotus Cobra. That's also always nice to have more of. Oh, yes. I got it to work better. <gasps> that's a cavern. This is a cavern of souls and an herb org. Oh, my God. Which is cavern at, at this point. 
if it will scan. Come on. It looks like I need to take the cavern out of the sleeve. Why won't you scan it? Oh, it almost did. Ah, I'm sorry. Ah! I promise there's no earthquake going on. $53. Okay. Erborg. Erborg. Oh my god, I hate this. Oh my goodness, why won't it just scan? Maybe if I turn sideways, it scans better? I don't know. Oh, it scanned that time. Maybe it was just like too close? We'll find out. It scanned it wrong, it's not a submerged boneyard. Okay, that worked. Uh, Mystic Remora. And a Nykthos. Okay. I hate these sleeves. I'm just going to have to deal with the sleeves. I didn't even realize I got up to five bucks. Come on, please just scan. Oh. I hate this, guys. I am so sorry. <sighs> Nick those. Scan. Do the thing. $21. Wow. Come on, just let me do it in the sleeves. Yes, City of Brass. Wait, how are you that much money now? City of Brass is almost $20. It's 16-something. This is crazy. Life from the Loam. God, I really hope that my screen is still recording on the thing that's scanning. Oh, we got the... Looks like the whole secret layer here. That's a $20 card. Wow. All right, we got the blood ghast. Oh, maybe not the whole secret layer. Demonic Tutor is next, which is a hit. And then we also got Strip Mine, which is another hit. This is crazy. Death Rite Shaman, that's still a good card. It's not a huge hit, but like, it's still a hit. Hermit Druid, wow, okay. There's just, there's just so much value in this, in this collection. Like, this is absurd. Bone Miser, I don't think Bone Miser is anything, so I'm just gonna like, Hermit Druid's $23 now? Oh my god, Blood, Foil Blood Artist, okay, I need to check that. Foil Dacmore Salvage. I don't think that's anything. Foil Putrid Imp. Probably nothing. Oh, sick. We got Dried Arbor, but we also got Overgrown Tomb. This collection is nuts. Like, this is ridiculous. Entomb. Morphic Pool. I... I feel like this is probably a commander deck is what we're going through right now. I just don't know what the deck was. Maybe we'll see the commander soon. We got Bob. Come on. Come on. There we go. We got Bob. Dark Confidant. This is wild. This collection is disgustingly nice. $45 for Bob. Oh my god. Blooming Marsh. Spire of Industry, I don't think is anything. Forbidden Orchard, that's sweet. This is definitely something. Oh yeah, wow, that's almost 20 bucks. Carpet of Flowers. Yup, that's a hit. Ooh, I gotta put that in there. Uh, Thassa's Oracle, regular, or this is, oh my god. Uh, okay, we got a new best card so far. Misty Rainforest. That's gonna go back in the sleeve after I scan it. This is $86, wow. 
Wow. It's a little damaged, though. That's unfortunate. Taking a little bit of ad nauseum. This card has recently spiked up. I know that. Um, Winding Canyons this is a really cool card. This is a card I've been thinking about buying, so it's nice that I pulled it here. It's reserve list. Makes instant speed stuff. It's nice. Uh, Verdant Catacombs. Oh my god. Wow. Okay, we have a whole lot of fetches in this. That's 70 bucks. We have a whole mess of fetch. Uh, who needs Ghost Quarter? All right. Crop rotation. Narset. That's a, oh, why did it have to have the gold border? Oh, is the gold border one worth anything? That's so unfortunate. Oh, I need a survival of fittest too. Oh, okay, that's not the correct price. Um, <laughs> uh, $13 version. That's so much worse. Oh, that would have been so crazy. Okay, we got a... <laughs> a Hinterland Harbor. Woodland Cemetery. This has got to be a commander deck that we're going through. That's this Oracle Tainted Pack as the Wincon. Ooh, a Foil Ancient Tomb from UMA. That's... Oh, tainted Pack's up to $50. That's money. Uro. Okay, there's another like $40 bill right here. Yep. <laughs> Whispering Madness, Lotus Petal, Sylvan Library. Oh, this is like this gotta be like a Moldrotha deck. We just gotta find that Moldrotha. Um, yeah, this is not a German one from Renaissance. This is from Fourth Edition. This is a Fourth Edition one. Yeah, fifty-six bucks. That's that's pretty good. That's pretty good. Yeah, a lot of these cards I already have enough copies of, and I don't need more. So, you may see some really sweet cards from here on my TCG player. Dread Return. Oh my god, Cabal Coffers. This card is in so, such, this is an uncommon, ready? This is an uncommon, and it's $63. This thing needs a reprint ASAP. Okay. Yeah, it's Costa Cat. This has got to be Moldrotha. That's my guess. Final guess, Moldrotha. Oh! Okay, it's still good. No damage taken. I just hit the camera a little bit there. It's got to be Moldrotha. There's no nothing else it can be. It's Moldrotha. I mean, we're just hitting Soul Tie cards. It's all graveyard shenanigans. Got to be Moldrotha. Is Edric worth a dime? It's worth $2. That's enough. Flooded Grove. Scoos. Who doesn't love Scoozy? Oh, Volrath Stronghold. Oh my god. That's something I've wanted in the cube for a while now. Phyrexian Tower, that's another hit. 50 bucks almost right there. Nice re revised Soul Ring. Whoever made, the, whoever made this deck, uh, I think the seller's name was like Gabriel. He's got good taste. Oracle Modaya. Oh, it's a little beat up there, but still playable. Thirty-five dollar card. Uh, will it, the scanner get the full arts? It will. Foil Wolf Strider Breeding Pool. This is monies. I don't believe Notion Thief is worth anything. Watery Grave. So much money here. This is this is crazy. This is just crazy. Whoa! I have no. Oh, this is a foil. That's not gonna work. I've not seen this deep analysis before. That's very cool. That's very very cool. We got Snappy, a little Snapcaster Mage, Golgari Thug. Snapcaster Mage is down to thirty five dollars. That's wild. That's wild. Foil Mana Confluence? My goodness. That's got to be like a $50 card. We'll, we'll get to that. Uh, Underground River Exploration. Bloodstained Mire. 
All right. This has got to be Muldrotha, right? It's, I can't think of anything else that this could be. This is. I want to see when we're going to hit the actual commander of the deck. A foil mystic snake? That's really cool. I don't know if this is worth anything. I'm definitely going to scan it when I switch to foils, but this is really cool. Reliquary Tower promo. Glenelenda Archmage. That's always something. Who doesn't love Glenelendra? Gemstone Mine. Ooh, Treachery. That's another reserveless card right there. There's a lot of reserveless stuff in this collection. Uh, Phantasmal Image is always a sweet card. Oh, we got a Foil Frog. So he saved the Foil one for the pretty deck, for the Muldrotha deck. And, ah, there it is! I knew it! <laughs> I knew it! It's Muldrotha! Lanamore Ways is that cheap? Wow. I knew it was Muldrotha. I had an I had an inkling. I knew it. That's so funny. Okay. Um We got a fancy planes. This fancy planes is worth some money. If it'll scan. Which it doesn't seem to want to. We're gonna say it's not anything then. Second sunrise? Each player returns to play all artifact, creature, enchantment, and land cards that are put there from the graveyard. Put into his or her graveyard this turn. Interesting. I've not seen this before. It's speckled. Is it worth anything? Oh, it's a dollar fifty. That's nothing. Um, we can flip this around. It looks like. Okay, I think we might be at the bulk of this box. Let's see. Is there anything in here worth anything? To say whether like Captain's cool, but it's not worth anything. Oh yeah, we're definitely definitely in the bulk section here. Yup, this is all bulk. Um, uh, anything cool? Anything cool? Ooh, some astrolabes, which is nice. A bane fire. Nephilim. Desperate ritual. Grinning totem. I don't know what this is, so I guess I'll scan it. Just because I don't know what it is. It's not anything. Okay. Rift bolts. Some red elemental blast and stuff. Sahili sublime. I have not seen that. It's kind of cool. That's a cool card. Split, split second, that's pretty good. Searing Blood, isn't this the one that's like something inside of some format? No, probably not because 14 cents. What was this card? Eye for an eye. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, I think that's probably it for this box. Yeah. Okay. So, three boxes down. We got three more left. We're at the halfway point. And we have $2,500 so far. Green box this time. For the dice, we got a Kaladesh, Ixalan, just some random one, and a uh, Eldritch Moon, and then some six sides. All right, starting off with the Reliquary Tower. Uh, ooh, that's a foil smothering tithe. Yep, smothering or uh, Reliquary Tower is some Teferi's protection. Okay, that was a foil smothering tithe. Um, let's see what the Fairy's Protection is at now. Still high. Okay, this might be another deck here. It looks like it's probably a deck. Umizawa's Jute? Well, it, it probably won't scan its foil. Armory Automaton. Oh, that's an expedition. You got an expedition in here. It's just a Dust Bowl. That's still something though, right? Wow, oh, Austin, come here, it's 10 bucks. Recruiter of the Guard. Okay, so we're looking at a 
mono weight equipment deck. Danitha, who oh I don't know why I'm scanning that now. Danitha, who we passed by and is in this bulk pile, could be the commander of this deck. I'm guessing this is another commander deck. This is where oh we got a sword. This is definitely another commander deck. I just don't know which commander yet. It's mono white. We got a mono white commander deck here. That's equipment based. Maybe it's um, Kemba. My guess is going to be it's actually a Kemba deck, and we just haven't gotten to him yet. Okay. Wow. All right. There's just so much value in this. It's Ten bucks now. Wow. Pure steel paladin foil. Dear God. Relic seeker. So, I'm not even counting these planes, and they're probably a couple dollars a piece. That's not worth much. Flickering Ward. I haven't seen a Flickering Ward in forever. Ooh, Enlightened Tutor. I know for a fact Enlightened Tutor's money. Come on. You were doing so good. There we go. Oh, Flickering Ward is worth nothing. Enlightened Tutor. Uh, ooh, an old Temple of the False God. Yep, that's like 35 bucks. Scorched Ruins. Interesting. Interesting card in Mono White deck. If that was in the deck. But I'm assuming that it was. Wow, that's only $7 now. Yikes. I've got a handful of those. Sort of Sinew and Steel. Please scan. Why are you not scanning now? Make sure. Okay, I can't. Scan, scan, please. Oh my god. All right, is it actually still recording? Yes, it is. Okay. So I might to deal with that. The now, ah, just scan. There we go. <laughs> that took way too long. I'm sorry about that. This video is just going to be half of me just yelling at my phone to scan. All right, grafted exoskeletons, nothing. Blast zone. Weathered Wayfarer is a sweet card. That's a sweet, sweet card. Urza's Tower. Sort of fire and ice. Oh, it's it's a little beat. It's a little beat. Ah, oh, I wish that was near mint. Okay, it just needs a little cleaning, actually. The speckles all come off. That's good. We got an Emmercrew of the Promised End. That's going in the key. That's $35 now? Oh, dear God. I remember when that was like $3. No, it wasn't $3. Uh, this thing jumped in price, though. It jumped around. It jumped all over the place. A Death Render? I do not know this card that well. Don't know if it's worth anything. It's worth a little bit. Scavenger Grounds, Giver of Runes, I love this card. Uh, Basilisk Collar, that's always a good card to have. Lightning Greaves, Commander Staple right here. Oh my god. Sword of Feast and Famine. This is the best sword in my opinion. My favorite sword, because it's the best Commander sword. It's a special deck version. Interesting. I haven't seen... That before. Kozilek. Great Distortion. So this is like big mana mono white. This is weird. Sword of Truth and Justice. That's 17 dollars. Wow. I did not realize it was that much. Ooh, Caracas. Okay, maybe this isn't a commander deck or... It could be a commander deck, and they just didn't know that Caracas is not legal in commander. Could have just been like a tabletop. This seems like a too good of a collection to just be some random some random casual player's collection. But then again, this Caracas won't scan, so I'm annoyed. Yes, the card is in the it's directly in there with with plain white background. Come on. 
Come on. Okay, I'm just going to put to the side the ones that won't scan right away, and I'll add them in after. Aether, Aether Sworn Cannonist. Ooh, Hammer and Nizan. Hammer and Nizan, I know for a fact, has gone up in price. Like, this thing is kind of expensive now. Yeah, Caracas won't scan for some reason. Hammer, yeah, it's almost $30. That's crazy. Uh, Ranger Captain. Ooh, Stoneforge Mystic. All right, I need to take the Caracas out. Caracas needs to get scanned. I just want to know for a grand total. I'm sorry. Because I can't be the only one here that wants to know what the grand total of this collection is going to end up being. A lot of sweet cards here, but not money. So guard is aid. Where's his mind? Blood Force Battle Axe. I gave one of these away a while back inside of a um, budget deck giveaway. Duelist Heritage. Interesting. I don't think this card's worth anything, but I've never actually looked at its price. Okay, it's a couple dollars. Sword of Vengeance, Golem Skin Gauntlet, Soul Ring, of course, is money. I don't think we'll ever see Soul Ring drop below like three dollars, two or three dollars anymore. Castle Arden Vale, Masterwork Ingenuity. Oh, I just sold one of these. Kaldotha. Forge Master, Thespian Stage. I don't think that's anything at this point. Mother of Runes. Mom is better than stepmom, but not in price. It's under two dollars, so I'm putting it in the not great pile. Oriac Champions up to four bucks. Okay, Inventor's Fair, Warping Whale, Sword of the Animus. That's always a good hit. Oh, this, is this is this going to be a SRAM deck? This might end up being a SRAM deck. I don't think it's a SRAM deck, because it doesn't feel like one. Ooh! Sort of body in mind. You gotta check that one. When I hit the foils. Paradise Mantle. Nope. Mind Stone. Planes. Lapse of Certainty. Foil. I want to check that. Um, okay, we might be at bulk here. Looks like we're at bulk. Looks like we're at bulk. Okay. Interesting. This is really interesting the way that these boxes are all set up because the first half is all fire and then it's just bulk. Uh, is Regal Caracal worth anything now? No. But it's a new cat dog commander. It's got to be worth something soon. They were Nighthawk foils. Kind of cool. Uh, Shroom. Is Shroom worth anything? Nope. Shroom's going in the cube. So for these cards that are like very bulk, like very, very bulk, can't really sell a lot of these. So if you actually want any of these cards in particular, comment down below. Like anything that's real cheap that I wouldn't be able to sell easily on a TCG player, let me know. See what I can do. That's an interesting card. Uh, Mana Prism. Alright. Psychosis Crawler, Region. Ooh. Unwinding Clock. That shouldn't be in the bulk. That's money. Yeah, it's five bucks. Ooh, my goodness. Kinder Discovery should not be in the bulk. It's like $20. Sigil Tracer. Oh, this looks like it's part of a old Merfolk deck, actually. Maybe we'll find Kumena. Mirror Reedry. I believe Mirror Reedry is something. Okay, it's only a dollar. Um, oh, we're looking at Bant. Merfolks. Deep Root Elite. Oh, just a few just a few Merfolk in the middle there. Okay. Done with box number three. And we are at just under three thousand dollars. We have two boxes left to go. Let's see what happens. Oh, I forgot to open the bottom. We got another coin. Another piso. Yeah, I'm pretty sure this is Filipino, Philippine money. Uh, we got an M15 die. 
along with a Oath to Gatewatch die. And let's see what we got in the box. Alright, um... This is not worth anything. Uh, Storm the Vault? Is Storm the Vault worth anything? Uh, not much. Journey to Eternity? Are these backwards? That's worth something. Okay, I'm gonna flip the pile over. Nope. Okay, wait. Let's just see. Um, yeah. Oh, wow. There is some heat in this pile. Okay. Uh, um, bulk, bulk, bulk. And we're into heat. We are into heat. Kozilek Butcher. $44. Yo. I think I opened two box topper Kozileks. Avison Angel of Hope. Yo. We got this babe. That is a foil Linvala right there. That... I cannot imagine that being less than like fifty something dollars. That's gotta gotta be scanned in the foil section. We got a godless shrine. Scans so much easier when I take them out, but it's so much extra work. Rip. We got an astrophy. All right, rest in pieces at four bucks. Let's check out how many assassin trophy we got here. One. Do we have a place that? Play a set of Assassin's Trophies. Let's just scan this thing four times. Perfect. Vorel, Mindstone, Ghostway. This card is worth something. This card is just, I think, hard to find. I think that's why it's worth something. Yeah, it's like 10 bucks. Uh, Elish Norn. Always a good card to have. Terrible card for your opponents to have. <laughs> oh, we got Nev's Disc. That's worth something. Ghostly Prison, the original one. Oh, Nev's Disc is not worth much. That's worth a couple bucks. Not worth much. Nope. I don't think so. Yeah, no. None of this world, I don't believe, is worth anything. Cryptic Gateway? What in the world is this card? Tap two untapped creatures you control, and you put a creature card from your hand into the bath. Whoa, that's a cool card. Is that worth anything? Is that like reserveless or something? It's worth like $2. Okay. Oblivion. So, sponsor. I, so, I really want Sponsire of Ulamog to be legal inside Commander. Like, to be usable in Commander. I just want that last, that. Ability right there. I want to be able to use Sponsire of Ulamog. Pay 20 mana. To cast a whole bunch of Eldrazi's, shuffle them into the deck somehow, and then um, win with, uh, what is the card called? Uh, the one where you need a bunch of cards in your deck. Um, can't remember the name of it. The one where you need like 200 cards in your deck. So this is unfortunate. Another stupid world card. Unfortunate. Um, this is an interesting card. Is it interesting enough to be money? Is it inter it come on, come on, phone. Ah, stop shaking. Come on, you know you want to be interesting enough to be worth money. Okay, I'm gonna put that with the Caracas because it's not working. Ghost Fire Blade? Okay. I wasn't sure. I didn't think it was worth much, but it, no, it's seeing play in Pioneer, so I figured I'd check. Always love Coalition Relics. That is a Commander staple. Um, yeah, that is not... I don't I don't have the foil Thrand Dynamo there. Alright. A whole bunch... Of Stony Silence, that's not... Oh, another land tax? Really? Two land taxes? I didn't, I didn't need to. I just needed the one. I just needed the one land tax, but thank you for the second one. I It's much appreciated. Swords. Okay. Swords is like forever going to be a dollar. A crawl space. That's a good one. Oh, come on. Stop doing this to me. Scanner. Okay, there we go. 
Crawl space is always good. Balin. Balin was probably the commander for that deck. I'm calling it. I think he's actually worth something, though. Yeah, he's worth like five bucks. It's solid. Oh, Shield of Cauldra. Foil pre-release. I have not seen that before. I will have to check that. Armageddon! I love Armageddon. That's such a fun card. Ooh, Ally of Zendikar. That used to be big money. That's like the one that was like a lot of money, right? I think so. Torpor Orb. Spire Bluff Canal. I said Spire. There we go. Okay. Irrigated. Villainous. Epic Experiment. Okay, are we on to bulk here? I hope not, because there's still a lot of cards in this. Oh, Zavala can't be bulk, right? Right. Nope. It's bulk. Languish? That's a good card. Ooh, ooh, ooh. We're not on bulk. We got a Vile Smasher here. Vile Smasher is some money, but it's also a foil. A foil. Xenogod. That's money. Ooh, Locust God. Looks like we got a few gods here. Ramos the Dragon Engine. Gotta love Ramos. Ramos is actually like a lot of money at this point. <laughs> Just because it's hard to get Ramos now. One printing. Very good card. That's going in the cube. Ramos in my cube would be sweet. If you guys, for those of you that don't know, and I've mentioned this a huge amount of times on the channel and in this video actually, I've got a very big commander cube where you draft full 100 card decks and it's a lot of fun. Come on, Tamio. Come on, Tamio. You know you want to get scanned. Or maybe you want to be a little annoying. I don't want to swear because I want to get um, shown to people. So. <laughs> <laughs> oh, bulk, kitty, bulk, 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 bulk. I love Scrimbleverse. Bulk, 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 bulk. So much bulk here. I know we're not bulk the rest of the way, though, because of the fact there's a surgical extraction right there. Squadron Hawk, that's awesome. Foil Squadron Hawk. Okay. Oh, Dargaz, that's bulk, though. Um, yeah, okay. There, that's the end of the bulk. We have a Chalice of the Void. Oh, I really want the new Chalice of the Void art. The new one's really, really pretty. I don't know what if Echoing Truth is worth anything. So I'll scan it. Oh my god, we have another foil engineered explosives. That's wild, actually. Foil Drown in the Lock. That's worth a bit, actually. Worth some money. Is this just the is it is this the rest of that mill deck? This has gotta be part of that mill deck, right? It's, Oh my god, where how's this card come out? Oh, oh, there it goes. This has gotta be some of the mill deck right here. Yeah, yeah, we got mill deck stuff. <laughs> Another archive trap. Anyone need archive traps? I surely do not. Ooh, marsh flats. Nice. That's a hit. <laughs> That's a nice hit. Oh, a Boro. That's also expensive, isn't it? Oh, I want to put this inside my lands deck. I don't have that in the lands deck right now. That's expensive. I want to put this in my lands deck. Because being able to trigger landfall like that is nice. Surgical extraction. Again, we have a lot of surgical extractions in this. Ewit. Ewit's always a good hit. You'll never see... I'll never be upset by an eternal witness. Oh, wow. Box Topper Fulminator Mage. That's awesome. Maybe this will scan just because of the fact that it's a Box Topper. Yeah. $23. Nice. And we got a sweet, sweet, sweet Path to Exile. Ooh. I love that Murderous Rider right there. That is like... This is like one of my favorite arts from that whole series. And 
I love this card. It's such a good card. I think it's super underrated. Oh, it's foil and it didn't. Why did I scan it? I have to do this whole stupid thing. It's only six dollars. That's so sad. That actually makes me really sad that that's a six dollar card. All right, murderous cut, murderous cut. Tassiger. That's a foil. We'll check that. Mind grind. Wait, is mind grind worth anything? Oh, we got a big Teferi. Teferi's worth money. I know that. Teferi is worth some money. We got the new Teferi coming out soon. That looks unbelievably powerful. Like, being able to use the ability on your opponent's turns is crazy. In Commander, that card might end up getting banned. <laughs> it honestly might get banned in Commander just because it only takes a few activations to get it to the point where you can ultimate and get you two extra turns. Dismember? Oh yeah, Dismember's worth a little bit. Ooh, a Foil Stony Silence? Yeah. Gotta put that there. Ooh, Extirpate! I remember, and this was not long ago, actually pretty expensive. I think it was due to Hogak, so I don't know if it's going to be anything now. Not really. We got another surgical extraction though, which is a lot of surgical extractions. That makes a lot. I don't think that's anything. Reanimate. Reanimate's always a nice card. All right, all right, come on. There we go. Okay. Uh, I don't care about Visions of Beyond or Realm Cloak. Nurturing Peatland. Ooh, so let's, okay. Oh, okay. There's a couple. There's a couple hits in here. A couple of hits left in this. Yeah, Nurturing Peat Plan, Celestial Colonnade. This card took a hit though when UMA came out. This card used to be really expensive and now it's like $4. Foil Snow Covered Plains, I need to check those. And a Hollowed Fountain. All right, that's what we got. Oh, that should be here. All right, last box now. Currently, our total is at $3,500. So, yeah, one last box. Let's see what happens here. Oh, there is a giant killer in there. Um, this needs to go in here. All right, last box. It is a very full box here. Yeah. All right. I don't think any of these are money yet. Oh, Mimeoplasm, I think, might be worth something. $2. Okay. KT, that's worth something. I know that. Bruce Taro. Okay. These are all money. Lightning bolts always there's a couple dollars. So mean spirit guide? I have actually never checked the price of that. Oh, monastery mentor is not worth anything. So we had a lot of red cards here. Burn, burn, burn. Kiora. Ooh, that dig through time is damaged. No. Doretti, Scrap Savant, ooh, Spark Double. Oh wow, Doretti's not worth anything. Spark Double is though. Yeah. Whip. Uh, Plague Wind, Exotic Orchard, ooh, Soul Ring. Command Tower's not worth anything anymore, actually. It's under a dollar, which is crazy. Oh, it's the misprinted guy's touch. That's cool. Look at that. Everything's shifted to the left. I think it's really cool. A lot of them are actually like this, unfortunately, but it's still cool when you find one. Um, Soul Ring. Ooh, Charcoal Diamond. I don't think that's actually worth anything, but like, it's always useful. Sahili. Ooh, Joyra. That's a couple bucks. Combustible Gear Hole. Delwar Stone, maybe? 
Yep. Vindicate, maybe? I always forget that Vindicate is a sorcery. That was most certainly not an Eldrazi Temple. Whoa, okay, that just like popped up a bunch of things. It wasn't a duress either. Okay, there we go, there we go. Cave, maybe? Inspiring Vantage, maybe? Nice. Sun Petal Grove, maybe? Ooh, Fire Lit Thicket. This has got to be worth something, right? Yeah, that's 14 bucks. That's for sale. You guys want that? I don't want that. Coat of Arms. Coat of Arms is always going to be money. Campbell? Is Campbell worth anything? No. Windfall. Always a good card. Thunderfoot Balith. Iron Maiden. Great band. Hellkite Tyrant. Reforge the Soul. Okay. Uh, ooh, Iona. Uh, not legal in Commander anymore, but still a good card. That's actually going to go inside of... Wow, this is $16 now. Iona's going to go in the cube. Bramble Sovereign, that's money. Here, okay, yeah, there's actually still a lot of money cards in this to go. Steam Vents. Hollow One. Oh, that's literally just bulk commons, okay. Mirrored Phantasm, that's a cool card. I, I like this one. <laughs> Is this worth anything? Okay. I'll take that. And I'll take that. A lot of Path of, the, path of Ancestries. I'm just uh, keeping it so it's upright a little bit so that way the cards don't fall forward. Dwarf Destinies. Anything else in here? Or is the rest of this pile just poopy? Ah, new Mangara. Way better than old Mangara. Blazing Archon. I've actually never owned a copy of this card. Um, Ulrich, Brago. Brago's at three bucks? Yeah. Oh, Primeal Protector is a really cool card. I think it's an underrated card right there. Grim Poppet. Uh, Prime Speaker. Oh, there's Kumena. Sea Hunter. Rich Cards Expertise. That's another card that's now money. Mimic Vat. It used to be money, then it got reprinted a bunch of times in Commander decks. Hazaret Unfoil. Not foil. No stone gargoyle. I I put that in a deck recently, didn't I? Um, I don't remember what deck it was, but I played it recently. I know. I know I did. Treasure Never. I love this card. I think this card is so underrated. It's so good. Erratic Portal. It's like seven bucks. Damn. Dragon Skull Summit. You got a Mirror Pool. Another Graven Caverns. Cairns. A uh, Grothama. Dollar. <laughs> uh, ooh. Nope. Never mind. I thought it was the other one. Um, I don't know if Pretty Glad's worth anything, so I'll check. Mana Flare. Yup. I thought Varchild was Najila for a second. All right. All right. That's the end of that pile. Let's see what we got in this stack. 
All right, we got a bunch of goblins and red cards and infect with like a claw mire. Desperate ritual. Uh, oh no! Get back here. Is the Hero's Wrath worth anything? I have no idea. Please just scan it. I don't want to take you out of the sleeve. It's not worth it. It's not worth it. Ah, oh, yes. It's worth nothing. Temple Bell. Temple Bell is usually worth a couple dollars. A dollar. That's what I meant. Definitely what I said. Foil, dual caster mage, regnus sanction. Full of faith is looting. Maybe that's something. I'll take a look. Bygone Bishop, Become Immense, Sigil. Ooh, wow, I love that foil. That's a really cool foil. Uh, Steal the Guy Head. Wow, it's an hour and 20 minutes already. This is so long. I'm sorry, guys. Hopefully, there's some people still in this and enjoying this. Hopefully. I mean, this is foil, so I might as well check it. And yeah, okay, that's it for that. We got a little bit more to go here. I got a feeling that it's all going to be bulk, though. Oh, is Rayusi worth anything? I just want to pull out the ones I think might be worth something and then scan them. Ooh, that's a foil. I got to stick that over there. Ooh, Kefnet. We were something. Eidolon. Hmm. I haven't seen that card before. That's solid, though. Whole lot of, like, Rift Bolts and just some small stuff that sells easily. All right, not a lot of good stuff in that little pile there. Ah, I keep hitting the camera. I'm running out of space. Nope. Nope. And nope. Okay, that whole pile was just junk. All right, we got one more pile after this pile. And I've got a feeling that these are going to go by very quickly. Oh, going to have to check that. <laughs> I love Dance of the Mance, but it's not worth anything right now. Cultivate's always good. Ooh, fancy looking Aether Hub. Spire Bluff Canal, Sunforger, Spire Bluff Canal. Altar, Vencer's Journal, Archery and Despair, Vanquisher, Diabolic, and the Wheel of Fate, Ruby Medallion. Oh my goodness. Um, I'll check these. Alright, um, let's see. Vanquisher's Banner. Nice. Aether Hub Foil. Cultivate is always worth a dollar or so. Foil, foil. Scion of the Ur Dragon. Ruby Medallion. Nice. Oh, I'm really running out of space here. Niv. Wheel of Fate. I'm going to move this over to this side. Come on, Wheel of Fate. Oh, it almost did it. There we go. Dive Walk and Tent. All right, I need to take it out. <laughs> really trying to avoid taking it out. Nice. Archfiend. Nice. <laughs> Fencers. Look at all this. All right, we got a place out of the Spire Bluffs.
And then we got a Sunforger to top that off. And we got the last stack here. This is the end of the line, guys. Then I just have to go through the foils pricing. Shiffin Gorge. Prize Amalgam? Is that worth anything? Not really. Rootbound Crag. Alright, that's two bucks. Another Rootbound Crag. Oh, um, that's not the right one. Um, okay. That's so annoying that I have to actually go in and fix this. Come on. Come on. There we go. Okay. Arabo, maybe. Of course, Beard Dancer. Nope. Goto Vigor. Yo. Sire Stagnation. I love Goblin Wilder, but it's not worth anything. I don't have that one. <laughs> Terminate. Balance. Great card. Bonalia. Boris Charm. Ah, I keep hitting everything. Oh, this is exhausting. Well, oh, Final Fortune? Didn't this, like, recently spike hard? Maybe not. Under my hotel, Vandal Blast. Uh, Elbrus. Uh, we got a Commander Sphere. Nope. Your Descent Angel? That's a dumb card. Progenitor Mimic. Kaidel. Is this worth anything still? Uh. Nice. Was it, isn't Charm being played in Pioneer? I'm going to check. Oh wait, Storm Strategy is worth a little bit. I know it is. I know this is, because I have a handful of them. Never mind, I lied. I was totally lying. I have no idea how much anything is, apparently. Twin cast. Um... Sage of Hours, maybe? That's a combo card, so... Yeah, $2. Toothy. I know Toothy's worth more than Peer. Uh, Zatopa, probably not. Cold Storage. Isn't this card, like, weird? Hypergen... I don't even want to read it. I'm just going to check it. No. Day of Destiny. That's a card. Yeah, that's a card. And that's a card that has money on it. Brightling and Vexing Devil. I didn't even realize Vexing Devil was that cheap. <laughs> Permanence come into play chat. Orb of Dreams. Interesting card. Knowledge Pool. Knowledge Pool is an underpriced card. Wow. Time Sifter. Steam Vents. A Johnny Steadfast. All right. Mizix Mastery. A Johnny Mentor of Heroes. Oh, my back is starting to hurt from this. There's just so many cards. Reiterate. Nothing, nothing. Reverberate. Maybe you need to check that. Oh, oh, okay. Uh, Annoyed Procession. And Primordial Hydra. Nice. All right. That's everything. Um, we're at $4,000, and we still have the foils to go. So, I'm going to quickly, hopefully quickly, scan in these foils. If you guys want to continue watching, then you'll just be watching to see the final price total. I see and change this to foil. 
All right, and let's see. Oh, that was the 2012 one. Come on. Oh, good. Nice. Arabo. Nope. Cauldron of Eternity. Nope. Okagachi. Oh. There we go. This cool looking Aether Hub. Nope, not worth anything. Nizan. The swamp. <laughs> Okay. Faithless looting. Brutaclad. Bruce Tarl. Oh, wow. Akiri. I feel like this is one of the partners that's still cheap. Come on. Oh, it almost had it. Come on. There we go. Yeah, it's still pretty cheap. Rayhan, that's an expensive one now. If it wants to scan, it is. Goodness gracious. I hate these. All right, is there no way to do this easily? Ooh, ooh, there we go. That works real well. Uh, Opus. Nice. Ikara. Ikra. No. Ishai. No. Tana. Tana. Oh, it had it for a second there. There we go. Tana! Yay! Kianos and Tiro of Miletus. So we got two of these foil snow-covered planes from Cold Snap, which is really cool. Um, maybe I guess I'm gonna have to add manually. Uh, boo. Uh, cold snap. All right, that's four bucks. That's solid. It's actually that's less than I expected, though. I expected the foil cold snap ones to be more expensive than that. Stony silence. A uh, Tassiger or Tassigre. Drawn in the lock. We got a play set of these, it looks like. Maybe. Maybe. Add manually. I feel like it's just because of the art. Four of them. How much were they? Oh, nice. A couple bucks each. Oh, yes. Foil Engineer Explosives. I believe we have two of these, so I'm just going to scan this one twice if it goes easily. Okay. 
Why? Why do these have to be so difficult? Like, I, I'm, okay. Nice. Two engineered explosives. Uh, echoing truth. I have no idea if this is worth anything foil, so I'm just going to try it. I believe there were two of them. Uh, not much. Ramos. $25. Wow. Ravos. 20 $24 for Ravos? Oh my god. File Smasher? 27? Shield. Shield of Cauldra. Come on. Shield of Cauldra. Come on. I mean, that's the pre-release one, right? That's the only pre-release one that showed, so I don't know why it's got the wrong symbol there. All right, this is probably big money here. Linvala foil. Oh, wow, that looks really pretty there. Okay. Will you just, like, scan, or do I have to type you into? Wow, this thing is not like. Oh my god, it's eighty dollars. This thing does not like foils. Damn, that's expensive. Okay, lapse of certainty. Please, there we go. I'm surprised that works. I just kind of shoved it down. Okay. Uh, sort of body in mind. Nope. No. Okay. 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 I'll type it in. I'll type it in. I'm sorry. How much is that worth? Uh, 17 bucks. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, Cigarda's Aid pre-release. Uh, the regular foil is probably a fine assumption of the price. Foil Pure Steel Paladin. I don't think I've ever seen this card in foil before. Yeah, that's expensive. That makes sense. Alright, we got the Dust Bowl. The Expedition Dust Bowl. I'm not even, I'm not even trying to scan it. I'm just going to put it in. $27. It's an Expedition. It goes in the sleeve. Umizawa's Jite. Okay. Another one. The, the, the from the vault ones are not going to work. Um, that's uh, nine bucks. It's lower than I expected. Smothering Tide Floor. That's got to be like 50 bucks. Oh, what? Show me where you can buy one for $35. Show me. I want to see. And then buy them all. $25 frog. That's a lot more than I expected for that. Reliquary Tower. Cool promo one. If it will scan. I can't hit the 12. That's probably it. Uh, that's probably about right. Okay, this one I'm really interested in. Five bucks. That's oh, it's, no, this is not time shifted. You see, this is actually the invasion one. This is not a time shifted. Or apocalypse. It's the apocalypse one. Eleven dollars. Okay, mana confluence foil. This is gonna be money. 32 bucks, yeah. 
Some F and M promo deep anal uh, analysis. Sorry, deep analysis. That's really what I said. Yeah, that's not gonna. That's not gonna work. Oh, that's cheap. Anime dead. Nice. Wolf Strider's not not worth it. Uh, foil Ancient Tomb. Okay, this has got to be money. Yeah, it's like $60. Damn. Okay, Ramen Up Excavator. Pre-release foil. Four bucks, not bad. Uh, foil Blood Artist. Five bucks. A Scheming Symmetry. Pre-release foil. That apparently, oh, there's how that's that's how it comes out. Come on, why does it not like scheming symmetry at all? Yeah, all the pre release cards for some reason show the Eldritch Moon thing. I don't know why. Arkham's Astrolabe foil. This is gonna be money. Yeah, 11 bucks. That's pretty solid. So we got a glass, whatever, Planeswalker, Ashiok, stained glass. Uh, we already put that Engineer Explosives in. SRAM, pre-release. Another Foil Ancient Tomb is after that. If this is like 60 bucks as well, that'd be hot. 40 bucks, that's still good. I'm putting that back in the sleeve. Alright, we got all four of these serum visions. I don't know if which one of these is worth more. So that one's a four dollar. Alright, I wonder if they're still at 30 bucks, like total together. So we have a four dollar one there. Oh no, that is most certainly not underground sea. So that's seven dollars in total. Whoa, nope. Okay. Uh twelve dollars in total. So unless this one's like mad expensive compared to the rest, it the Serum Visions thing is no longer worth its value. Nope, not worth it. Uh, Dead of Winter foil? Probably not much. Eh, enough. Gadwick? Nope. Progenitus? That's a promo. That is not a Moaning Whale. Oh, you make me do so much work. Come on. Grand Prix promo. Uh, $3. Uh, Cass, probably not worth much anymore, I don't think. There it is. $4. Uh, is the Fiery Temper worth anything? No, and we got a play set of those. Uh, foil Prowler's Helm, I think it's worth something. Or I am stupid. Okay, that's just some weird Kamigawa card that's foil. Yeah, weird foil Kamigawa card for the win. So, can I scan it that side? Yeah. Oh no, it doesn't work. Conqueror's Galleon, but it's actually the Firebox version. Which is like mad rare because it's got the cool treasure map. Uh, Brea. Uh, eight bucks. Miri. I said, there we go. Sidar. Silas Wren. Hazret the Fervent. Uh, we got Snap. I've, this one's gotta be money. It's gotta be. 
15? That's not bad. <laughs> not bad for a foil common. Come on, go back in your sleeve. You're old and in good condition, so let's keep it that way. Desertion. D desertion. I don't think desertion's worth the money. Oh, it just did a thing and it sounded like it was worth enough. Uh, mind desire? That's not gonna work. Bam. Yep, that's not worth anything. Uh, cast through time? Okay, let's just type this thing in. It's a World Wake Foil Mythic, so it's got to be worth something. Or Rise of the Eldrazi. $2. Unfortunate. Uh, probably won't work. Oh, it almost did. Arlen Cord from the Vault. $3. And last but not least, my favorite commander, Riku of Two Reflections, Judge Promo. That is not the right one. That's a good sign. $42. Solid. Okay, so. Uh, and then these wouldn't scan before. Maybe they'll scan now, these three. Maybe they'll scan now. Tamio? Yup. That's not foil, though. Gotta change it back to full and non foil. But it's still money. Uh, Parallax Wave. And Caracas. All right. So, that gives us a grand total of. Hold on. You, you guys have already seen the grand total. I just haven't seen it yet, but I wanted to show everything off. That gives us a grand total of $4,760.75. That is that is a lot. Wow, that that was a lot of cards. And we didn't even go through everything because there's definitely a couple hundred dollars in lower tier cards there. So, wow. That... That was awesome. Okay. If you guys enjoyed this box, this opening, this extremely, extremely long opening, let me know in the comments down below. Let me know if you made it to the end. If you made it to the end, um, comment what the coolest card that I pulled was, what your favorite thing that I pulled was. Just show me that you made it to the end. Um, if you didn't make it to the end and you're not subscribed, what are you doing? You're doing something wrong. You should be subscribed. Uh, you should check out my Patreon if you really want to support the channel and help me be able to pay for more sweet, sweet unboxings like this. And yeah, we will see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody.